Kamusta kayo? Hello, welcome back to MGN Diego. I'm Panganan ko ay Ovela. And before you start asking questions about why M Angel is not here, I will make an entire dedicated video about that. So there is no need to ask a lot of questions in the comment section below because today we are here for Marcelito Pomoy. You know, that guy, that Filipino guy that did uh, a performance of The Prayer on the Wish Bus, you know, did both parts, Celine's part and Andrea Bocelli's part, and slayed it. Oh my god, I mean, the entire YouTube stratosphere exploded when he released that performance. And guess what? He did it apparently again on Ellen DeGeneres so he was finally invited on the Ellen DeGeneres show and uh, I did not want to react you know to very bad quality videos that were on YouTube so I did my research and I got the best quality possible so we got two videos we got Marcelito Pomoy uh, performing the prayer and then performing Beauty and the Beast so you'll get two videos today all right i hope you guys are ready because i am let's do this christian right yes thanks for being here you're gonna interpret you speak a little bit of english though yeah. right a little bit okay so i heard you'd been Bye -bye. waiting for a call from us for a while yes uh uh, actually, hindi ko talaga expect And then one time, may nag-message ko sa akin sa Facebook, uh, ellentv.com. Hindi pa rin ang mga paniwala. And then, dumating sa punto na nag-skype kami. He speaks hindi pa rin ako so satisfied. fast in Tagalog. And then Tagalog. one time, dumating sa akin yung <laughs> ticket. Going to LA. Ellen. <laughs> Ellen so is like, what? I really what? didn't think that I'd ever get a chance to be here. One time, I got an email from ellentv.com, and I still couldn't believe it. I thought it was like spam or something. And I really didn't believe it until I got the tickets in the mail. Yeah. So, well, here you are, because you're yes. amazing. Um, yes, okay, so he is. Yes, he oh, is. Man, I cannot so wait. Uh, seven years old. So, seven years old, and then hanggang 18 years old. Seven and then 18. Okay, um, so seven and then then eighteen. What? Uh, eighteen. Uh, switching voice. That's when you oh. realize you could. Oh. So then you could do the high and the low. That's when you realized yeah. you could do high and low. Damn. And how did you discover that? Uh, good question. I don't even know myself. <laughs> yeah. Kasi siguro ito na bigay sa akin ng God, so pinagpatuloy ko na na. He is so nervous. Me, and so I just went with it. Yeah. So so God gave you this amazing uh, gift. And I understand you were living on the street for a long time, right? So you're living on the street and it's from the age of seven? Seven. Damn, I had no idea that Marcel Topomoy was living on the street. Well, anyway, uh, that's unfortunate, of course. Well, now, uh, obviously, he's doing a lot better, thank God. And um, yeah, so apparently he started singing at the age of seven and then he discovered that he could do double voice at the age of 18. And she asked him a good question. She was like, how did you discover that? And he was like, yeah, even I don't know, I guess, you know? Uh, all right, let's keep on uh, reacting. Seven? Seven. 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 Okay, so how did you survive? What did you do on the streets? Uh... First time ko kasing lumaya so seven years old, and then nagtrabaho na ako ng pinball, pinboy, pinboy. And then ang kita ko sa pinboy ay 50 pesos, ay, ay, in, in US dollars, on dollar. And then yun yung nag-survive sa akin na yun pangkain ko sa araw-araw, and then natulog na ako sa kaji. So how I survived is that, you know, I took jobs like being a pin boy, so where I would manually put the pins up, and they would pay me 50 pesos, which is equivalent to one US dollar, and that's how I would survive to eat and get my food, and then at the end of the night, I would just sleep on the streets. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Okay, so then... That is rough. What is a pin boy? You know, he said he would put pins up. He was paid to put pins up. Are they talking about pins like pins that you put on a shirt or something like that? Because I'm not sure. Just let me know in the comment section below what that is. You're on the streets and then you compete on the Philippines uh, Got Talent, right? That's how you're discovered. Um, how do you get from the streets to to that? Actually, there are a lot of people who told me that I'm not going to be able to do that. Because I don't believe in my talent. 
hindi dumating sa punto nung nag-18 years old ako, siguro... She has awesome questions. Way na makita ko yung family ko. So a lot of people tell me to enter contests and everything, but I didn't really think anything of my talent. But until I turned 18 years old, that's when I realized that maybe this is a chance where if I sing, I'll be able to see my family. Okay, well, uh, th this is this is beyond amazing. I mean, Wait, what did she just say? If I sing, I can save my family or I can see my family? Oh my, I mean, it, they're both terrible choices, but my God, man, he had a tough life. And it's at the age of 18 that he discovered that he could do it, meaning he lived up until 18 years old struggling. Oh man, this breaks my heart. But yeah, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is a real host, man, slash journalist, I guess, because she has wonderful questions from Arsalito Pomo. It really helps us learn more about him, about his trajectory. I mean, I saw this video of you, and I, I just, I'm so, I'm so thrilled you're here. So you're going to sing for us today. What are you going to sing? I sing the prayer. All right. Thank you. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Get ready. He is rushing it just a tad, just a little bit. It feels a little bit too rushed for my taste, you know? I think it's because of the pressure, the stress of being in the States and being on Ellen DeGeneres' uh, stage. But other than that, it really sounds good. Like, I am proud of him, man. Oh, I wish at that moment he had like backup vocals, you know, lower range backup vocals <sighs> or an orchestra, a real orchestra with him. They should actually do that. They should invite him to do like a, a mini concert uh, or something like that with a real orchestra. It would be beautiful. Also, a reverb would have helped as well. And like I said, it feels a little bit rushed. <laughs> Grave, grave, grave. Nice job, man. Well done. So amazing. So amazing. All right, we're going to sing another song after the break. We'll be back. Wait, what? Marcelito Pomo is that short? He is shorter than Ellen. Is I mean, come on, really? Damn, I had no idea cuz Ellen does not look very tall. Um, so what did you guys think? Honestly, I am very proud of him and I think it feels rushed because he is singing both and he does not have the time to finish the last note, obviously, because uh, both artists, you know, Celine and Andrea Bocelli, 
uh, like at the end when like Celine finishes her note Andrea Bocelli starts his part way before she finishes finishes that note so maybe that's why in the original it does not feel rushed but here it does um, I think he nails probably the uh, higher pitch you know the Celine part better than uh, the Andrea Bocelli part that is just my opinion and um, but yeah it was good it was really really good and I was you know I was wondering if his natural voice was closer to I guess a female voice or a man's voice but it's right in the middle it's right in the middle um, all right, now I am ready to react to him singing Beauty and the Beast. I hope you guys are ready as well. Let's get to it. We're back with Marcelino Pomoy, and uh, so you just sang the prayer, and now you're going to sing Beauty and the Beast, yep. right? And both from Celine Dion, who you right. love. Yeah. Yes. Celine Dion is a very favorite, my favorite singer ever since because uh, uh, all the songs of the Celine Dion, uh, lalo na yung The Prayer, is the one uh, nagpabago ng buhay ko. Yeah. He said this, this, all Celine Dion songs are what he loves to sing, but most specifically he loves The Prayer because that's the song that changed my life. Wow. Well, yes, it's, Beautiful. it's pretty amazing. Um, all right, you're going to sing for us one more time. Okay. connected to it emotionally. So he's going to use both voices here too, huh? Beauty and the Beast. I am very excited because the only time we heard Marcelito Pomoy sing with both voices, if I remember correctly, was The Prayer, right? So we finally get another song where he gets to do that again, yes! Small to say the least, but a little scared, need one prepared. Unbelievable. I love that crack. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. And the thing is, like, well, that was short. Okay, like I said, he was he was living on the streets from the time he was seven years old till he was twenty-four. He's never had vocal coaching, no voice lessons at all. And you have that voice. Karaoke. It's unbelievable. I mean, really. Karaoke. All right, so you love Celine Dion. She's my friend. I called Celine, told her about you. She wants to meet you. So you're going to go to Vegas. You're going to see her show. Ooh. You're going to go backstage. And you're going to see the show at Caesars in Las Vegas and meet her. Damn! Oh, that's beautiful. This is so nice of Ellen to do this, honestly. But here, I really think he nailed the second part better. The lower part, the men's part. He nailed it. He was more confident, you know. And because uh, when he started the Celine part here, it was it was a little, it was a rough, a rough start, you know, unfortunately. But this was a beautiful experience. I love that Ellen did this for him, and we got we got a little bit more insight uh, on his life. And I really appreciate that. And I'm really sorry that he had to live in the street until the the age of 24. From the previous interview, I thought it was on the streets until the, the, the age of 18, but no, 24, my god, how old is he now? I'm not sure, he's probably in his 30s already, right? Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, this was beautiful and, you know, I had to find the right quality and, you know, and do a beautiful reaction for you guys because we all deserve it. Marcelito Pomoy is one of the first Pinoys that we discovered when we started MGN 
and he will always have a huge place in our hearts definitely so again thank you for watching i'll see you next time thanks for watching remember to like the video subscribe here and wonderful things will happen and turn on your notification bell to be booked for future content yeah, yeah, yeah.